with Michelle McCory is brought to you by Prime XBT. Hello, I'm Michelle McCory. Thanks for joining us. Dethroning the dollar is high on the agenda at the upcoming BRICS summit. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are meeting in Johannesburg later this month. And while it's not clear what the status is regarding a BRICS commodity backed common currency, what is crystal clear is that member countries will continue to push to ditch the dollar and to trade using their own currencies. The bloc is also expected to expand its members, with over 20 countries now officially applying to join the BRICS, including Saudi Arabia, which could have serious consequences for the petrodollar. This comes just as the dollar has taken another hit to its global standing, with a recent downgrade by the Fitch Rating Agency to drop its AAA credit rating. And all of this is happening as the U.S. dollar has fallen from making up 73% of global reserves in 2001 to 58% today. Well, my next guest has long warned about the move to de-dollarize and says that a global monetary reset is already well underway. But now he's also examining if the push for the U.S. dollar to lose its status as king of reserve currencies leading to a major monetary reset may in fact be an intentional and deliberate effort from within. Andy Schechtman is the president and owner of Miles Franklin Precious Metals. Andy has three decades of experience in the precious metals sector and is a well-regarded expert on monetary history and political economy. And Andy's last video is also one of the most viewed ever on Kitco. Andy, very good to have you with us. Michelle, that's amazing. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Very good to have you back. Now, Andy, you have long warned that we will see a change in the dollar-denominated money order. It's certainly what we discussed in our previous video, but you have been sounding the alarm well before that. So I want to get your thoughts on what you expect from the BRICS meeting. More importantly, where you see things going beyond the end of August, beyond the meeting, and also discuss the idea that the dollar losing its status could be by design from within and how this fits into the agenda for a CBDC or central bank digital currency and what this all means for gold and the investment implications here. So a lot to cover, but let's pick up from where we left off. And last time we spoke was January of this year where you warned that the trend to de-dollarize is accelerating, especially following the sanctions imposed on Russia after its invasion of Ukraine, including banning Moscow from the international SWIFT system and what many have called the weaponization of the dollar. You said that that's going to lead to accelerated de-dollarization. And in fact, much has happened since then, including several countries formalizing bilateral trade agreements not using the dollar. Just for example, China and Brazil, which is South America's biggest economy, they've reached a deal to trade in their own currencies. India has been buying oil in rubles and dirham. And even France completed a natural gas deal with China paid for entirely in yuan. Just some recent examples of that trend. We're also seeing continued record-breaking gold purchases by central banks. So let's pick up with how you've seen this acceleration to de-dollarize since we last spoke, and of course the importance of Saudi Arabia in this whole picture. Yeah, uh, that's all true. Everything you said is true, and it is an acceleration, Michelle. It's a it's a real acceleration, and you know I I think I want to focus first and foremost. Everyone's talking about the meeting August twenty second uh, in Johannesburg, and rightfully so. This is a big deal. The 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 BRICS alliance and their meeting, uh, talking about expanding, talking about issuing a commodity or a gold-backed currency, as James Rickard has mentioned. Well, these are all very, very, very big deals. And whether or not they issue a gold-backed currency on August 22nd, uh, you know, to me, isn't really the biggest, uh, biggest deal. I, I think ultimately they will. There's no question to me but that they will issue a commodity-backed currency. But whether it happens August 22nd or somewhere down the road, to me, I guess, is it is really not that big of a deal. And to me, I focus more on this acceleration that you mentioned, acceleration, this cohesion of countries that have joined together and, and are exploring 
joining this ever-growing union of countries trying to, I guess you could say, break free from the Western hegemony. Uh, 